Okay, so today is the opening day of this restaurant that I sort of ended up designing everything for. Um, I'm excited to see how it turns out. So yeah, let's go, uh, let's go check that out. Okay, so about a year ago, I had a client come up to me and ask me if I could do a logo for him. He wanted to start a burger joint and the restaurant was gonna be called Bites and Burgers. So of course, I said yes, and I even made a video about it. So if anybody wants to see how I designed the logo and what the whole entire sales process of talking to a client is like, you can check the link right here. And okay, so after that project was done, he liked my work so much, he was so impressed by it, or maybe the fact that I just gave him the logo for free. Uh, we decided to work on designing everything else for the restaurant. You know, the next thing was, hey Pat, you know how to design a business card? I said, yeah, of course, no problem. And he's like, I want to design a really cool illustration with our our logo, our mascot, the Vice Guy. And I want him in a in like a mobile truck because we're gonna be doing mobile orders in the meantime until we get our brick and mortar up. And I said, cool, for sure, no problem. And then he asked me, what about photography? Can you do that? I said, yes, no problem. He took some photos of his burgers um, and it was, it was cool, it turned out great. And then he came up to me and asked me, can you design the actual restaurant? And I said, no, that's not, that's not what I do. And he said, you know what, let's just give it a shot. You know, I, I, I have confidence that you can you know, whip something up and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So I said, okay, yeah, let's give it a shot. So I did a mock-up of what I think the restaurant should look like. Again, I'm no interior designer, but uh, you know, I, I made it work. And so you know, at the end of the day, I, I, at least I gave it a shot and, and presented him with something. If he didn't like it, he could always go to a professional uh, interior designer. But I think he liked my, uh, my, my designs enough to actually go, go through with it. And the last thing I ended up designing for him was the menu for all of his, all of his food and all his drinks. And so, you know, this is uh, just one of those things that I, I'm always kind of preaching about is, you know, I try to expand my knowledge a little bit every time I do a different design. I'm always trying to accept jobs in which it's a little bit challenging for me and kind of borders along the lines of things I've never done before. Because the more skills that you have under your belt, you will be more valuable to all of your clients. By being so versatile and having so much experience in working with just about everything, you know, it saved him a lot of time and headaches and he didn't have to manage as much. He didn't have to find one person to design the logo. He didn't have to find a person to design the menus. He didn't have to find another photographer to do the photos. And, you know, in the end, I was the only point of contact that he had for design and our working relationship was just really, really great and really efficient and really fast. And so, yes, is it is it good to know more as a designer? These days, I definitely am of the school of thought that if you're gonna be a freelance designer, go the general's route, you know, learn two or three different types of skill sets and you're ultimately gonna be very, very valuable to a lot of businesses. There it is. The Bites Burgers. There's a car right in the front, but whatever. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Look at that. My logo right there.
good here. Uh, I highly recommend the Bites flight. You save four dollars, and you basically get one burger for free. So if that's what you like. Go ahead, and you get to try every single one of our burgers: the Mushroom Classic, Bacon, and Original. Oh yeah? Yeah. Right, give me one of those. Alright, let's do it. That's one bites flight. That's right. And what would you like to drink with that? Uh, let me get a soda, a cream soda with that. Alright, a cream soda, the vanilla cream? Yeah, the... Right. yes. And would that be all for you? That'd be all. Alright, that'll be seventeen sixty-four. You're not... no, don't pay, don't pay, don't pay. You're good, you're good. Really? Just cut, cut this part out, cut this part out. <laughs> okay. Right? For the record, I paid. For, yeah, for yeah. the record, I paid. So. Here it is. Wow, look at that. Thank you. I believe this was called the original. <laughs> or the classic. I don't actually know. But it's got tomatoes, onions, lettuce. It's actually my favorite burger, I think. Fries. Really good. What's your name? I'm McKenna Larkin. Hey, McKenna. How's uh, How do you like working here? I love it, honestly, especially as like my first job. It's like the perfect place to be, in my opinion. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. So, what do you uh, what do you think about the design of this place? I love it. I think it's like actually shocking how well it turned out, <laughs> um, in my opinion. My favorite's the wall in the back, uh -huh. where the front, where it says all the sayings in the different languages. I love it. It yeah. looks so cool. It turned out amazing, and that's my favorite part. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you. High five for that. <laughs> the man with the plan. Hey Steve, <laughs> so what do you uh, what do you think about some of the stuff in here? Like some of the designs, what do you like? I like it all. You it, like it, it all, huh? Fantastic. Fantastic. The, I don't know, the Instagram wall is amazing to me. It came out perfect. Um, <laughs> makes it easy for people to like it. For like sure. us, grandma, share us. So you see, yeah. you see a lot of people taking pictures in front of this thing already? Oh yeah, absolutely, really? yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Everybody that comes in, that's the first thing they look at. They look at the wall and try to figure out what to do with it first. There's so much stuff going on that yeah. they're not even really sure what to do with it. So <laughs> then they just, as they look around, you see the, you know, see the Bites guy catering. See the cool little catering truck. Yeah. It's a very cool, simple concept that I think is going to do well. I think it's yeah. going to do real well. How excited are you about this uh, about this new endeavor of yours? Uh, about absolutely. Bites Burgers. <laughs> well, the Bites is an amazing thing, and so uh, you know, just the thought process behind it with Steve and coming up with it has been amazing. So we're definitely excited about it. People have been loving it. People think it's franchisable, and uh, that's what we kind of made it. We kind of thought about it as being franchisable. So we're very excited about it. Uh, the simplicity of the kitchen, everything's baked, you don't have anything being fried, all of that and really uh, has been coming through and people, once they find out that they're baked, they want them even more, so. That's awesome, you know, man. Awesome. So, what do you, how do you feel about the design for the business? Oh, the design came out amazing. Did it, yeah. Patrick just went <laughs> above and beyond, so. I mean, everybody who's seen it has wanted it for their businesses, so. Kind of tells you how the designer worked in his mind frame, which is uh, the man behind the camera. Oh Amazing. yeah, oh yeah. Amazing. Hey, well, yeah. thanks for putting the good word out there, man. Yeah, I'm glad totally. I was able to, to meet the expectations. Uh, you surpassed it. <laughs> surpassed it. I <laughs> love yeah, it. Dude, Thank you dude. so much. Hell yeah, man. Really appreciate it because cool. uh, I'm telling you, I've got other business owners who have come in and they just think it's phenomenal. So you've really made it franchisable, and it's beautiful. Cool. Let's yeah. rinse and repeat. Hey, that's alright, let's do it. <laughs> all right, George, thanks. Thank you.
Okay, so I had to get out of there because I felt like there was way too many customers, there were way too many orders, and me being there with a camera is not helping anybody. And in fact, I think if I stayed there any longer, they probably would have tripped over me. But, um, you know, I hope the shots that I did get gives you a good idea of, you know, what some of the work looks like in a real life setting. And, you know, I think, you know, to my surprise, I think it turned out quite well. Um, you know, it's just really a really interesting concept and it's just a really good feeling to see the stuff that you worked on being put into like a real life application. So yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Was this a cool project? Was it not cool? If you like to see me make a video on how I did any of the other pieces of this project, um, you know, like the business cards or, you know, the illustrations or, you know, the, the restaurant interior design portion, just let me know. I can make a video about it. And um, yeah, so as usual, like if you do, sub if you love, and uh, I should probably stop driving and uh, recording this, but I will see you next time. Peace.